Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're carrying on the Sega theme, but coming back home to consoles and looking at the Sega Dreamcast. Now I never owned a Sega Dreamcast when it was first released. As a PlayStation boy I went straight from PlayStation 1 to 2, seduced by the offer of a Blu-ray player built in. As we all know, that decision was made by a lot of people and really saw the end of Sega making consoles for the home. The Dreamcast received a number of ports from Sega's arcade ports, and that's why really we're looking at it today, carrying on our theme back from Model 2, Model 3 and Sega Naomi, to look at some of those games on console. As I said in some of those previous videos, if you really want the experience on an X input stick, sometimes it's better to go for Dreamcast and try and emulate the original arcade board. Let's move on to how to emulate these games. As ever, you will of course need some Dreamcast games before you can start emulating. As ever, on a YouTube video, I'm not going to tell you where to find them. A Google search will probably do you fine, but don't forget to check out my handy website guide that has a page for each of my emulation videos and some very useful resources you might want to check out. Anyway, here are my games. They're all CHD files. You can use CDI in other formats, but the emulator we're using does prefer CHD files. So just a few of the games I've got here. I also have here a Dreamcast BIOS, which I will get to shortly. You don't need a Dreamcast BIOS if you're using the Redream emulator, but it's handy to have. So here is the page for the Redream emulator. I'll leave a link in the description below. And this had a lot of information about the emulator, which in my opinion is the best one to emulate Dreamcast games. Do check out the compatibility list. There are a few games that this won't emulate. Any of the Windows-based AM2 games like Sega Rally 2, unfortunately, this can't emulate yet which is a real shame from my perspective, one of my favourite games. So let's just download this file. There is a stable release, but I'm downloading a development release for us to have a look at. It's quite simple to install. All we need to do is unzip the file, load onto our desktop, and then click the execute file. That's it, Redream sorted. Thanks for watching, see you again another time. Only joking, a few more things to do. So once we've done that, the emulator will immediately start piling through our drives to try and find games and it's found the drive I had on my desktop. Who doesn't find that? You can do that manually by adding a drive, add directory and that will take you through and you can point it to where your games are if it doesn't find it straight away. As you can also see the emulator has automatically downloaded some cover art. As I said about those Windows games, Sega Rally 2 won't play on the Dreamcast, which is a real shame. If you're watching this Redream guys, please, 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 it's my favourite, favourite game. Let's put in an input. So it automatically configures for an X input stick. So my Xbox One, Xbox One S controller will load straight away. That's done. If you do want to put any other inputs in, really straightforward. Just click on it. Click on the one you want to change, and put in the button you want. So it needs to load up more controllers, or put it for a keyboard, or even to an arcade cap if you'd rather do that. Let's put it into full screen mode there. Okay. A few other things on the video options. We'll put on the frame rate counter. We won't need frame skip. Um, there's some other options you can get if you have a license, which I have, and I'll come back to that later. Um, system I'll just show you quickly, nothing to change there. I live in NTSC, even though I obviously am in Europe. So let's start having a look at some games. So let's start with Dead or Alive 2. So I'll just quickly fast forward this startup process, get into some gameplay. Okay, so as you can see, that plays perfectly well. Looks great in 4 free format. No glitches, frame rate stuck at 60. I have a pretty decent machine, but even on a relatively potato type machine, the Redream emulator will play most games quite happily in its normal resolution state. Now to exit a game, you just press escape, and that will take us to this menu here. So you can save some states here under save states if you're halfway through a game. Edit Cheats is fantastic. Um, that's where you can put in your full screen hack, um, widescreen hack I should say. And also there are some other cheats you can put on for certain games should you choose to. Um, but it's going to exit here. So I'm going to just put in my BIOS and my license just so you can see some of the other bits and pieces the emulator can do. So all you need to do is, if you have a license and a BIOS, just copy and paste them into the directory that has the execute file in. 
and the emulator will immediately find them when it next starts up. That's done. Boots up in full screen mode. Let's go into video. Now you'll see here game resolution. That wasn't an option before. We'll go right the way up to 8K, I think, if I remember rightly, but um, we'll just set it to around 4K, I think, for now. Everything else is the same. So we'll just go back into that game. Now, as you can see, as I have a BIOS, it loads up Dreamcast BIOS. There is an option to go into the BIOS screen should you choose to, but um, not really a worthwhile thing with the emulator. So here we are back in Dead or Alive 2. Okay, still looks great. Much better resolution. Now I'm recording this in 1080p using OBS, so you might not be able to see quite the resolution change I'm seeing, but I can assure you it looks fantastic. What we'll do now is we'll quickly flip over into the widescreen hack, just so you can have a look at that one as well. Here we are in widescreen. Still looks fantastic, still plays 60 frames per second. Now it's up to you whether you prefer the classic 4.3 resolution or this 16x9. I think this looks great. Some of you who are purists might want to play in the original format, but that really is down to you. The beauty of the Regium emulators you can choose. So that's it in terms of emulation setup. I'm going to run through a few games you might want to have a look at. Then we'll just draw some conclusions and end the video. Daytona USA. All looking really good, with the exception of my actual gameplay. Moving along then, some Power Stone 2. I put this into the widescreen format again, just to have another different view of what the emulator can do. Playing great. Next up, some Soul Calibur. Now again, I've put this into the widescreen hack. I've also put on the character cheat to call up Yoshimitsu, who isn't a character that's available right at the start of the game. And this is again one of the options of the emulator. Calls that up straight away. Pretty comprehensive victory, and if I do say so myself. So here's a bit of Tony Hawks because we can. Again, looks really good. Graphics are pretty decent. Again, as we've said with a lot of emulators, with the hacks on and the increased resolutions, they really don't look hugely different to games of today. And this would pass for a, a PlayStation 3 game, maybe? It doesn't look out of place. Some of the racing games I'd be happy to play. So all in all, looking pretty smart. So just to finish things off, a bit of House of the Dead. Why not? That's when we looked at our Naomi. I have to admit, this is a bit trickier with a X input stick rather than a mouse. But it looks pretty, it looks just like the original, just like the arcade version. So if you do want to put it at home on a, on a big screen TV and frighten the kids, then this is the way to do it. Okay, I think this is a good time to conclude then YouTube. All in all, the Regium emulator is fantastic. I, I really can't stress enough how great this emulator is. I really can't stress enough how much you should buy a license. These guys do a great job, do support them. It looks fantastic, plays fantastic. If you're listening guys, please, please, please say you're ready to. Otherwise, if you're at Emulation Dreamcast Games, this is absolutely the way to go. This is a weekly series, please do consider subscribing. We also do monthly new build and old build videos for new gaming, emulation machines, that sort of thing. So again, another reason to subscribe. Do leave some comments below. I think we'll do Sega Saturn next week, but leave some comments below if you want some other emulation guides, other assistance, always happy to try and help. But until the next one, go well. <laughs>